Hi everyone, this is chapter 4. We are going to learn about how can we mount a file system using system D. Back in rel 6 or any other versions, we use FS tab. Here also we can use the same FS tab to mount a file system. Here I have used the FS tab. But anyhow, there is a way to mount a file system using system D in rel 7. So let me see how to mount a file system using system D. Under user lib system D system. Here, if we list all the store dot mount, okay. Mount, it's a mount unit. So here if we see there is a term dot mount and uh, system kernel debug dot mount some of the file systems these are the file system which coming up during the server boot up while the booting happen these are the target automatically load let me go inside the term here we can see that the unit was description unit was defined with description temporary directory and the documentation about that and the conflict and when the file system want to be mount before the local file system and human target and which file system and from which device want to be mount and what the permission of the mount that have been mentioned as mount what is equal to term refers that is the source of the disk and the where where it want to be mount slash term we want to be mount and the type of the file system and the option was mode 1777 that means rewrite executable for the term directory with sticky bit and the strict a time okay and uh, in which file system uh, in which run level it want to be loaded for that they have mentioned at the bottom it says as wanted by is equal to local file system dot target this location was under user lib system d system by the way we are going to see how to create our own file system so let me see how can we mount a file system using or by defining our own file system one of the mount target it's under etc system d system here the one all the defined targets it's all uh, the location under etc system d system this whole target will be used while the system come up these are the targets of enabled one okay shortly we can say these are the targets of enabled one okay now let us see how to mount a file system using system d for that we are in etc system d system directory so from this location in this location we want to create a file in the name of any mount point name dot mount extension file so here we have seen user leave system d system slash or mount so there are the mounts already which are defined for the system so if i want to define my own i want to mount on the etc system d system in the same extension the extension of the term dot mount is dot mount so here under this directory in this location etc system d i want to create in the name of the mount point dot mount so my mount point can be with the name of slash data okay already the directory was existing in this machine already i have created 
so let me go i am going to mount the file system in the slash data for that i want to define a mount target file let me create one or I'll let me copy the existing one or uh, from uh, user leave system d system slash term by copying the term to this location term was copied uh, renaming it term and make it as data dot mount it's renamed edit the file and remove the unwanted arrow on this all this i'm keeping the description as the mount point is related to data so data directory i'm going to keep the name as data directory and documentation there is no documentation so i'm going to remove those things conflicts and mount targets i don't want so this is what which disk want to be mounted under the slash data so i have a already i have a physical disk it's a dave sda it's a 2 gb disk so dave sd sdb i'm sorry the Dave SDB is 2 GB disk which we have in this server. So I'm going to use here to mount under the slash data mount point. Where it want to be mounted? It want to be mounted under slash data. Now what the file system want to be used? It want to be ext4. So what are the uh, options want to be enabled? The options are just defaults. Okay. So in which run level the file system want to be loaded? It want to be loaded under while the system come in multi user mode. So I'm going to use here multi multi hyphen user dot target. While the multi dot user target loads, this mount point slash data want to be auto automatically mounted using the system d okay let me see how can we mount now the file was under um, etc system d system okay so in the data dot mount file we have mentioned there is a disk dev sdb want to be mounted under slash data so the let me check whether the disk is existed and my mount directory is existed the data slash data is there already i have created let me sort the disk the st b the disk also there it's a 2 gb disk so i'm going to mount the file system now and i'm going to reboot the server once i manage that uh, service the mount service okay so let me see how i am going to activate the mount point using the system d once i have defined this file the data dot mount i want to run the i want to issue the command system ctl daemon reload okay so that what are the changes i have made to the configuration uh, will be automatically enabled then i want to issue the command system system ctl start the name of the mount data dot mount okay now the disk will be automatically mounted under this machine you can see the slash data was there let me unmount unmount it and i'll show whether it is again mounting or not okay now i have unmounted it let me run df message again there is no slash data again i am running the system ctl start 
data dot mom. Let me clear the screen and df minus h the data was mounted. And if I want to confirm whether the data uh, dot mount is a service running or not, system CDL status data dot mount. It will show the status clearly that this is a file system mounted using a system D. It's showing data dot mount. It's a data directory loaded from etc system d system data dot mount and it is not enabled for the next reboot it will not come up the mount point will not come up in the next reboot and it's now currently mounted it's active and the date of the time when i have actually activated 20 seconds ago and where it's mounted is under slash data and from which disk it is mounted dale sdb with the default options, with the default options of data ext4 and uh, minus o defaults. Okay, so let me go into the mount point slash data and check whether the file system some some of the lost plus found is some of the directories are already existing. Well, we are creating a file system. This will be automatically created. All right. So the mount point data was uh, created and mounted. Let me reboot the machine now. And let me check whether the mount point is coming up. For that, I want to enable this service, enable this mount while the server coming up. For that, I want to issue the command system CTL enable mount dot data dot mount all right it was linked to multi-user target what are the targets want to be started while the system comes up so let me see the status now you can see in the second line it's showing loaded and it is enabled okay you can see there also slash data let me reboot the machine and let, let us check whether it's coming up in the reboot. The reboot in process. I have pressed the escape and we can see the process. Interactive process uh, services which are loading. All right, I am going to log in. Here, once I issue the command df minus h, we can see that 3, 4, 5, 6 at the sixth place, the dev stb was mounted under slash data because we have enabled it by using system CTL status enable mount dot data dot mount okay so we have seen how to mount a file system using the system d anyhow we can use the fs tab also it's not a compulsory to use the system d system d to mount the file system we can use the same time we can use the fs tab also but is a new feature which is enabled in the 12.7 is system D. So we can use in the upcoming days the UFS tab may be removed. I don't know whether it's going to be get removed, but anyhow we can use the system D in in, in that case if it's removed. If, it's, if the first tab is removed, we can use the system D. Okay, cool. We can see in next chapter, chapter five. So please subscribe to our channel and watch the videos regularly uh, to prepare for the ES300 REL examination. Thank you, thank you for watching.